This is an overview of the Parallax background widget for Elementor by Unlimited Elements. I'm going to show you step by step in this video how you can add a Parallax background effect to your Elementor website, add different types of layers, and give each layer different types of scrolling Parallax animations to achieve awesome backgrounds inside of your Elementor project. Without no more further ado, let's jump in and get started. Before starting to create the parallax background effect, you're going to want to make sure that you have two things ready. The first one is you need Unlimited Elements Pro version installed and activated on your WordPress website. And over here, you're going to jump into the backgrounds menu item over here. And we're going to install and activate the parallax background, which is over here. So I'm just going to click install, and that's going to add it to all the containers inside of my website. And once I choose it, it's going to load the effect into the container. The next thing that you need is the layers that you're going to use in your effect. In my case, I have a background layer, I have a moon layer, I have a mountains layer, and a stars layer. So I'm going to use four layers, but you can use as many layers as you want and create any style that you want. Let's jump into the Elementor editor. And over here, I'm going to start creating my effect. My effect is going to be in the middle over here. I have two sections, one above and one under, just so I have some scroll inside of my website. And over here we have an empty container. To add the effect to the container, first of all, I think it's best to give a height to the container. Because right now, as you can see, there's not much height. Now, sometimes you may have content inside and that make may make the container higher, but in my case, I don't have any content yet. So what I'm going to do is going into min height and over here, I'm going to choose VH and I'm just going to make it 100% of my viewport height. And you can see that the container starts here and ends over here. This can also work with any higher amount of VH pixels or whatever unit that you decide. But in my case, I think it's best to use 100 VH. To load the parallax background effect inside of Elementor, I'm going to jump into the style tab of the container while editing the container and scroll down to unlimited background. Over here, we have all sorts of types of background types. And the one I'm going to use today is called parallax background, the one that I just showed that we installed. Over here, we have an option to add items. The items in this case are going to be the layers that the effect is built from. So let's add an item and give it a name. The first one is going to be a background layer. So I'm going to give it the name background. And each layer has a layer type. We have two types of layer types. One is an image layer and one is a background layer. Since this is a background, I'm going to choose background layer and I'm going to click the image over here to upload my image. So let's click on that and I'm going to upload the assets to my WordPress website. So upload, select, let's go into the folder, select. I'm going to select all of the assets and just bulk upload them so I don't need to upload them one by one. And once the asset is uploaded to the server, I can choose it. So this is going to be the first one and I'm going to click select and now it's going to load it over here. So as you can see, there's a subtle movement right now. It's like moving up. The whole layer is moving up and I want to change that effect a little bit. So the place where you have the effects is inside of the parallax tab inside of the item. So I'm going to go into the parallax tab and over here I can set the direction. Now, right now it's moving up with this sensitivity. So in my case, I'm not sure I want that to move up. So I'm just going to change the sensitivity to one. And what this should do is it should not move it. As you can see, it's not moving now. Now, instead of that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a different effect and the effect that 
I want to do is sort of a zoom in effect. And this is called scale. Scale is sort of making it bigger or smaller as you scroll down. So we can scale up or scale down. In my case, I want to scale up. And over here, I'm going to put the unit two. And now you can see that these background stars are getting larger as I scroll down, which is exactly what I wanted. So this is looking pretty good. As you can see, this is overflowing outside of the container. And I'm not sure that's the behavior I want. So there's another setting for this. Of course, you can do this inside of the container settings inside of Elementor. But we also added a setting over here for overflow hidden. And this just hides the layer from getting outside of the container. Okay. So this is looking pretty good. It's really subtle right now. You can see that it's just a really, really slow, subtle uh, zoom in. We can change this to three if you want, and you, it will be a lot more um, um, a lot more dense. I mean, you can see it better. So this is looking pretty good right now, and you can play with this all the time, uh, depending to the other layers that we're going to add. Because the whole idea in parallax backgrounds is that each layer is going to have its own movement inside of here. So let's add another layer. And I'm going to add, I'm just going to duplicate this one actually. So I have two background layers. The next one, let's select the image first of all. So over here inside of my media library, I'm going to use these mountains. And you can see them now one on top of the other but they're moving together. They're zooming in at the same time. So this could have been the same image up to now. Now we want to give them each a different movement. So I'm going to go into parallax and actually now I'm just going to make them move a little bit to the right. Now, as I said beforehand, that when this is set to one, it's not going to move at all. So if I want it to move to the right, I need to give it some kind of um, some kind of value bigger than one. And now it's moving a little bit. Let's make this a lot more drastic so we can see how that looks. Okay, right now it's moving to the right, which looks pretty good, I think. Maybe let's make it a little bit less. And this is making uh, sense right now. Now, since I wanted to have a different zoom effect rather than the one that was uh, previously there, so I'm not going to give it three. Let's give it two. So the speed of zoom is now different between the stars in the background and these mountains in the front. So this is making pretty much sense. So let's start adding other layers. Now, instead of duplicating, and before I'm going to do the next layer, I'm just going to give this one a name. It's really important uh, to be organized when working uh, with this kind of effect. So this one is going to be called Mountains. Awesome. And it's important to have the layer names because maybe you're going to want to duplicate. Maybe you're want, going to want to reorder them one on top of the other. So as usual in design work, the most important part is to be organized. So this is looking pretty good. The next layer I want to add is kind of a moon over here. So I'm going to click add item. And right now it's going to be an image layer. So this is good for us. And let's start setting this up. So first of all, I'm going to choose the image. That's going to be our moon layer. It's really, really big right now. So I'm going to set the item width and the item height. So let's set this to 300 and 300. And now the next part is to tell it where to snap to in terms of the container. Right now it's set to left zero and bottom zero. So I want it to be over here on the top left side. So instead of bottom, I'm going to put that at the top. Now, I don't want it to be so close to the side, so I'm just going to push it 30 pixels from the top 
and from the side. And we're going to jump into the parallax part and start thinking about our movement. In this case, I think the best movement is going to be down to the right, meaning over here. So let's move that down to the right. And you can see that now it's moving. Now I want it to move it much more, so I'm just going to change that to 3. And now you can see that it's moving a lot. That might be too much. Maybe let's do 2. And test this out. So this is kind of a lot of trial and error just to find the exact movement that you want. And I think it would be nice if it would get bigger. So I'm going to scale up. can be two times bigger. So now this is our movement. This is looking pretty good. And I think another nice thing that you can do with um, layers that are circles is maybe give them a little bit of rotation. So over here inside of rotation speed, I'm going to give it something like 10. And now you can see that mm, you can hardly see that. So maybe let's give it something more like 30 over here. And now you can see it's circling over over here. That's a little bit too much, but it's good just so you can see how that works and how it's moving according to how much I'm scrolling on the page. Awesome. The next part and the last layer is going to be for the stars. It's going to be some shooting stars over here on the right side. So let's duplicate the moon layer. Rename it to stars. Upload a different image. This one. And this is really a subtle effect. I mean, I'm not sure you're going to be able to see it just these little stars over here on top of the moon. I'm going to move them to the right side. So let's snap them to the right. Now they're over here. And we need to change the movement. Right now it's moving the same way the moon is moving. We want it to move it inside over here, down to the left. So instead of down right, I'm going to change it to down left. I don't need rotation in this case, so I'm going to change the rotation to zero. And now you can see that these are moving in. Another type of effect, and the last one just that we didn't go over, is for the opacity. So we can change that to fade in and change the number over here. And that will just make those fade in, like giving it sort of an opacity and fading them in subtly. Uh, in terms of the placement, I think the placement over here is okay. So we're pretty much set up with our parallax effect. Another couple of things, just to wrap up this video and finish it up, is gonna, I'm gonna show you two things. One of them is the responsive settings. So over here inside of the responsive settings, as long as you built this correctly, this is pretty much responsive. So if I'm going to go into mobile view, you can see that this is pretty much working nicely, right? But in case you want to turn off a certain layer on a certain device, it's possible to do it. So by default, all the layers are visible on desktop, tablet, and mobile. But if I would want, I could go to the moon layer, go into the responsive tab, and set this to hide. And this will just hide that certain layer inside of this device. Another important thing that you need to know is over here inside of the width, all of these, as you can see, have responsive. Also about uh, the placement of the layer itself, all of these are responsive settings. So you can make it smaller, move it a little bit, uh, or even hide it if you need to. So that's the one of the last things that I wanted to show. And the last thing is adding this with Elementor layers. So this is just the background right now. Right now we need to start adding content and this is a regular container. So if I go into my widgets pane, I can drag and drop any layer, for example, and start building my container. 
Now, in my case, I want this text to be in the middle over here. So I'm going to go into the container settings, layout, and I'm going to align it to the center. I'm going to change the text over here to parallax background and style it with white. So this is looking good, but I want to add a little bit more movement to it. So to add movement to this layer, what I need to do is go into the advanced settings inside of Elementor. And this part is not related to unlimited elements itself. It's just showing you what you can achieve with this effect alongside with Elementor Pro, because this effect, these motion effects, which are called scrolling effects, require Elementor Pro. And the scrolling effect that I'm going to add is scale, like I did before with my moon layer, for example. And this text is just getting a little bit bigger as I scroll down. So that was a quick tutorial how you can utilize the parallax background effect by unlimited elements for Elementor. If you have any questions, you can post them in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.